Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dan Pickett, co-founder of Launch Academy, and I get asked the question all the time, how do you decide what to learn? There's so much technology out there. There's so many things to to discover and learn about. How do you just pick one and decide on what to do? Well, let's start with what not to do and what a lot of folks that are just starting out with software development actually start doing and they get themselves into trouble. A lot of folks tend to chase trends, right? So at the time of this recording, uh, JavaScript and Node.js and uh, buzzword, 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 Bitcoin, you know, uh, cryptocurrency, there are all these different technologies out there. We call them technology du jour, you know, the, the technology of the day, right? There's always going to be that trending technology, and that's all good, and there are many, many great things to learn from trending technology, but you don't want to just chase trends for the benefit of chasing the trends, right? Uh, in software development, I personally have walked through and worked through many of these trends, and at the core, the fundamentals always remain the same. So if you chase trends and you learn towards a specific technology, instead of learning evergreen skills, you're going to get into a place where you're constantly in this rush and race mode where you're just chasing trend after trend. And that's gonna make you really tired and burnt out as a software developer just starting out. And I don't want that to happen to you. Some folks just say, ah, whatever, I'm just gonna guess, right? You wanna make an informed decision. Now, that doesn't mean that you wanna spend months and months analyzing and, and figuring out what to learn, right? But you also don't wanna make an uninformed guess as well. So don't just kinda just stick a thumb in the air and say, oh, I think I'll learn that, right? Uh, it's really important to make an informed and calculated decision when working through this. The other thing that you don't want to do that I see a lot of beginners work through is trying many things at once. Oh, I'll learn HTML and CSS. I'll learn mobile application development. I'll learn um, uh, Ruby development. I'll learn uh, Node.js development, right? And as soon as they start to really bifurcate their focus, right, and start focusing on multiple things, it's going to diminish their ability to get a sense of progress, right? So if if you try too many things at once, you're going to move slowly in so many different directions, you're not going to get that all important feeling of progress, right? So you want to focus on a few things in doing those few things well. So here's what we encourage our launchers to do. We always encourage our launchers to listen to the market, right? It's really important to be active in your community, going to meetups, talking to practicing developers, talking to teams and companies that hire developers to really understand where the demands are. You also want to learn things that we call evergreen skills. So now having been a developer for about 20 years, there are things that I do in my day to day that is consistent from what I did in 2000 versus what I do today in 2018, right? Uh, now 2019, man, the new year is here, right? Uh, so uh, you want to learn some of those evergreen skills, object oriented design, functional programming, test driven development, web standards and accessibility. These are evergreen skills that are going to transcend any particular technology. So they're really important to learn. The other thing that we want to learn as software developers is we want to learn metacognitive skills or put simply learning how to learn, right? Because there are so many trends to chase and there are so many different directions that we can go as technologists, it's really important that you learn how to learn, right? Uh, so learning those research skills, learning those troubleshooting skills, those are all really important things that you need to do as a software developer. These are skills that you need to cultivate to become a better professional. The other thing that we encourage our launchers to do is to learn by experiment, right? There is no way for you to just read a book and say, okay, I know software development now. You have to actually put some fingers on, your, on the keyboard and practice. Do some experimentation and try things out. And you can only do that through active learning. Really, really important. Uh, so that's why we really recommend a project-based learning focus. So try to find a project or a, an itch that you want to scratch so that you can, uh, in fact, learn by doing. 
So we teach all of our launchers this because we have learned what it takes to be a successful software engineer here uh, in the Boston market and abroad. And it really is a function of this three-way partnership that we have here at Launch Academy between employers, students, and us as the educators. So it really works because we're able to revise our program every quarter and we're able to iterate on that experience every 90 days. And and lastly, we listen to the employers. Every single time we bring a new cohort into the market, we're hearing from them in terms of how the interviews are going, and we're also hearing from the hiring partners in terms of what they want to see. So if you want to learn this way and you want to you want to basically listen to the market, learn evergreen skills, learn metacognitive skills, learn by experiment, and learn by doing, well, you can join us. Because what we've done is we've established the Aspiring Developers Career Launch Formula. It's a three-step process that we take you through so that you can go all the way from coding newbie to professional. If you're interested in learning more about Launch Academy and how we do it and how we teach you what to learn, I hope that you'll sign up for an info call and learn more. Thanks, and I look forward to meeting you. I hope this video was helpful for you.